So this is the three bean chili from yesterday's recipe. And this recipe is so versatile that it could also be a three bean birria because it's essentially cooked the same way. It's cooked in a nice spicy sauce and braised till it's done. So I'm gonna be using my three bean chili and this soon kimchi noodles. These are vegan friendly. I love them. They are the closest to ramen you'll ever have. They do have some fat in it. So this is just a treat for me. I eat this very rarely. I'm going to prepare my soup like the instructions say. I'm going to add some water and then put it in the microwave for three minutes and I'll just let it cook. This is a great recipe for when you are craving something junk foody, but you don't want to get all crazy. This is so good and hearty. Once the noodles are done, we add them to a bowl and then we add about three spoonfuls of our three bean birria. And that's how we're going to make our birria ramen. I kid you not, this is so delicious. It's super good. Don't forget to get the recipe from the other video. The three bean chili could be turned into a three bean birria and it's so good. It could also be a stew. It could be also be a three bean stew. It's a very versatile recipe. So it's so good and delicious. This was awesome. And now I've got my chopsticks. I'm just going to combine it together. I've got some few garnishes. I have some green onion and cilantro, which is my favorite combo for a delicious ramen. You can also use sobo noodles as your ramen if you want a healthier version or some brown rice noodles if you just want to be healthier because this does have palm oil and it has all kinds of oils in it. It's just a treat. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity to try this <laughs> now i'm just going to finish it off with some green onions and some cilantro you can use any toppings you like these are my choices i love the green onion it always gives it a, a nice savory onion flavor without cutting onions and it, the cilantro always gives me a home feeling of my mexican culture i just love it and the green onion gives it that asian kick and then the cilantro gives it that Mexican touch. And it goes well balanced, con connecting two countries together, connecting two regions together makes a better unity. And what better unity would be Asian and Mexican? Come on, man, it's the best cultures. They have the best food. Yes, they do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment all your thoughts, comment any recommendations, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is how you can store it. You can store it in a plastic Tupperware, a Mise cup, and it'll last about five days, but it will not last five days because you're going to want to eat this ASAP. As soon as it cools down, you're going to want it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.